What's up, everybody? I am Jason, and this is Holly. We are Coaster Maniacs, and today it is Monday, the 26th. And we actually tried putting up reactions to Elimination Chamber last night, but every time we did, they got blocked. Um, because it occurred to me as I was uh, putting them up there that. They don't want their uh, videos being shown on YouTube for free when it comes to pay-per-views. <clears throat> so, and if you've noticed, my throat, my voice is gone, but we're continuing making videos for you guys. So, today we're doing <clears throat> a uh, review of those pay-per-view and results. So, since we can't do our, we're not going to go back and redo our reactions and... Because then there'll be fake reactions and rewatch this stuff, so. <clears throat> we're not gonna do fake stuff, so, alright. So, first up, we're gonna talk about the first match. We didn't watch the pre show, so we're not really. We didn't miss much from what we heard. So, let's talk about the first match. So, starts out, what happened? First match, what was it? The Women's Elimination Chamber match. The first ever Women's Elimination Chamber match. And that surprised me a little bit because over the last few weeks, they've been doing, or a few months, they've been doing women's new stuff being last, like the Royal Rumble. Uh, I believe the Money in Bank was last for them. So, this is the, um, the order that everybody entered in. Uh, starting off the match, it was Sonya Deville against Bailey. Then Mandy Rose came in, then Sasha, then Mickey, and then Alexa Bliss came in last. <clears throat> I called every single one of the entries in the video, but again, you're not gonna be able to see it, of course. Um, and basically, Mandy Rose was the first one eliminated by Sasha Banks via submission, and this is now the first time. Uh, first woman ever to be eliminated out of the Elimination Chamber, Mandy Rose, is also the first woman to be eliminated from the women's first ever Royal Rumble match. Did you know about that? No. Alright, and then not long after that, Sonya Deville was eliminated by Mickey James. And then Mickey James was pinned by Bailey. <clears throat> and then we were left with Bailey, Sasha Banks, and Alexa Bliss. Alexa Bliss was on top of the pots, trying to escape Bailey and Sasha Banks, and what happened? You don't remember? No. As Sasha Banks was climbing up to the top of the pod uh, to get after Alexa Bliss, she ended up taking out Alexa Bliss and ended up kicking down Bailey. So, turning on her best friend. Well, uh, he'll turn, maybe. Are they friends? I don't think so anymore. Uh, and then after that, uh, Bailey was eliminated by um, Alexa Bliss. And then after eventually, after a really cool Twisted Bliss off the pod uh, roll up, and uh, she rolled through and somehow Banks rolled through that and just picked her up for trying to doing a Banks statement. Um, but Alexa Bliss, your winner. We chose Alexa Bliss to win. So we got that right. <clears throat> Next match was the tag team match. The bar against Tice Worldwide. Not really a big match that we, you know, we didn't think it's going to last long. No one really cared about. Uh, and who ended up winning? The bar. The bar, yep. Really short match. <coughs> Not much to it. Let's move on. Next match was pretty good. It was Asuka against Nia Jax. These two right here. These two were a really, really fun match to watch. With Alexa Bliss watching in the back. Because if Nia Jax won, she would be added to whoever Asuka chose to fight at WrestleMania. And who dominated most of that match? 
Naya for the most part. She was outpowering Asuka big time. <clears throat> Until eventually at the, the end, uh, with a roll up, with a roll up, Asuka defeats Nia Jax. And Nia Jax was not too happy. She completely, <clears throat> she completely rammed Asuka into the barricade. Destroyed the barricade. Completely. <clears throat> and, um, they did an interview with Alexa Bliss, and Alexa Bliss said she approved of it. Even though now it's going to be a one-on-one -on -one with either... Asuka hasn't made a choice yet, though, so it could be against Charlotte. Uh, all right. And then after that... We had Woken Matt Hardy against Bray Wyatt again. Uh, Raw 25, they had a really short match with Bray Wyatt winning. Kind of a throwaway. When we saw them live, Novni... Uh, Bray Wyatt lost. So, we had a feeling that uh, Woken Matt Hardy was going to win. He did. Uh, pretty uh, decent length match. The crowd wasn't really into it, though. Um, and the beach balls came out into the crowd. We knew when that was going to happen that the crowd was, was just not going for it. So, the uh, commentators were kind of buying in that uh, Matt was controlling the crowd, which really wasn't. It's just the beach balls being thrown around. But yeah, uh, Matt Hardy went with the twist of eight. And that was that. Next, my favorite part, or my one of my favorite segments of the night. The Ronda Rousey contract signing. We knew, and I wish this would have been able to be posted up. Uh, it was a really, really good segment. <clears throat> it started off a little eh. Uh, but Karen Angle walked down to the middle of the ring. There was four. She noticed that there was four microphones on the table, right? Yes. And before we could say anything, uh, Triple H's King of Kings theme came on. And the authority... Triple H and Stephanie McMahon came out. And uh, we're talking up how great Ronda was and how she's going to be the best for the company. How she is the dominant, uh, most dominant woman fighter on earth. And then they called her out to the ring. And everybody was chanting for Ronda Rousey. Everybody, everybody, everybody. And um, the first thing that Ronda says on the mic in WWE was, Hey guys. Uh, a lot of people are not happy about that. And it is what it is. She was nervous first time ever out there. Uh, with a WWE mic. I'm sure she'll get better. If not, put a mouthpiece with her. But, <clears throat> that's where the shakiness was. The good part was when she was about ready to sign the contract. And Kurt Angle chimed in with saying that uh, Triple H hasn't forgotten about WrestleMania 31, uh, the hip toss, and the armbar onto Stephanie. And that they were saying now after three years that they finally owned a bit and then they cut off. Um, it was saying that he had the flu and that he was delirious. They brought him to the back. And at this point, Ronda was pissed. She, she didn't buy any of it. <clears throat> so, they're starting to bring Kurt up the ramp. And then, Kurt Angle again said, Well, didn't Stephanie say in the office that she could take her and that she's not that good? And then, Stephanie was walking away, got backed up to the ropes, and Ronda was in her face. Triple H came in to separate the two. And that's when it got good. That's when Ronda Rousey picked him up, slammed him into the table. Everybody went home happy on that. Perfect. They're setting up the WrestleMania um, match. It's not going to be... Because she didn't want a title match. She didn't want to be handed anything. Um, it's going to be... <clears throat> to me, not obvious that it's going to be... Ronda, Kurt, Triple H, Stephanie. What do you think of that? Sounds like it'll be an interesting match. I'm 
kind of sad it won't be Rock. I don't think it will be with his movie schedules and you know contracts with movies. They're not letting people He's too fight. Famous now. Not too famous is that <clears throat> with contracts they don't want him getting hurt during a movie film. Uh, so they're probably not gonna let him do it. Kurt Angle, you know, just as good as uh, I don't know, uh, partner for. Her. So moving along after that. The crowd was hot for that. Uh, we have the men's first time ever seven man elimination chamber match. <coughs> or what we call the Braun Strowman match. So the order of the entries. We knew Elias was coming in last. The Miz started things off with Seth Rollins and Finn Balor. And then John Cena entered. Roman Reigns entered. Braun Strowman and Elias. And uh, let's just say... That Braun Strowman owned everybody. Everybody, uh, the Miz was first out by Strowman, and then Elias, and then Cena, then Balor, then Rollins. And there was a point where it was Rollins, Reigns, and Strowman, and Rollins and Reigns turned on, or Reigns and Rollins teamed up together for a little bit, and then Rollins decided to take matters into his own hands. In which caused the downfall of that. And then, ultimately, we all knew it was going to happen. Roman Reigns toppled Braun Strowman. And now it's going to be Roman Reigns, Brock Lesnar, WrestleMania. No one's looking forward to it. Shock face. We all knew it was going to happen. I didn't want it to happen, but... There was a very funny part in the beginning where The Miz tried teaming up with Seth to take out Finn, and then tried teaming up with Finn to take out Seth. Ultimately, Seth and Finn teamed up to take out Miz. Perfect. <clears throat> and that was Elimination Chamber. So next time, we'll be a little bit more smart. We won't film the actual pay-per-view and have it in the corner. So we'll just film our reactions like we did the Royal Rumble. If you haven't seen the Royal Rumble, we'll put a playlist on here. Uh, and we're about ready to watch Monday Night Raw, so we will be doing our normal Monday Night Raw thing for it. So, again, your voice hopefully getting better soon. If you like this video, the reaction of Elimination Chamber 2018, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.